We didn't either. She told me when I was going to was Hey, you want to get Jim in the shower? That's what I was thinking about. Hi, Matt. Matthew. Matt. Jim's getting changed. So let's It's porno movie time. Where's Jim? <laughs> <laughs> this is the groom. <laughs> the night before his wedding. <laughs> Notice a trail of clothing that led to the scene of the crime. A lit cigarette left in the ashtray. And this behind has the door. To be bad. You heard it behind the green door? Behind oh, the no. green door! <laughs> it's that bad old David with his movie camera. Perhaps you've read behind the green door. You now have behind the brown door. <laughs> and this is where the end finally came. The night before the fateful day. Film at 11. A white one? Yeah. Oh, David, David, do you have Did you pick up the white golf Oh, yes, I do. Dave has it. Sorry. And there's Aunt Amy. And let's see who's here so far. This is, uh day before and there's Tim hiding again the don't group? worry we'll okay it's time to see what everyone's doing while they're waiting for the wedding let's see there's grandma and grandpa we'll walk down this way Everybody. <laughs> There's my favorite kid. Oh, I can't keep him off the slide. We'll go slide him down the slide. I'll take a picture. Hey, Grandma, come catch Matt. We're going to get a grandpa to catch me. Okay. You ready? Come on. Come on. So you ready? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. Never laid a glove on him. So, uh, Mr. Lopresti, yes. what's it like having a uh, son being married later this afternoon? Oh, I've had it done before, and this particular son is uh, son number two. Son number two. Son number two. And you have one son left, and he may not be long for this world. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll all be gone. And then you'll finally Peggy have your and I house can do whatever again. we want to do. <laughs> like make love in the kitchen. <laughs> taking interviews today. And what are the questions? Uh, what's it like to have a son about to uh, become married? Oh, it's delightful to have a son about to become married. We hope he's as lucky in his choice as our baby boy was in his choice. <laughs> <laughs> you can come see the kid now. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Get away from the slide. I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> There's Matt with his train. Matt, push the choo choo. Push it.
Yeah, see the light? Oh, sorry for the bounces. Hi, Matt. Travi, wave. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Travi, say hello. Here's Jim, just hours before the fateful day. Well, if you hang it right there, you're going to go about another 10 miles. One last you're see date. A picnic, uh, a picnic area on the side of the road with a stone Amazing, tables and a stone cover. And I'll be on the left hand side. When you get, when you see that, you're about half a mile from the tree. Oh, right. there we go. Come on, Travis. Let's see the golf players at work here. Matt always knows where the holes are. Take number three and put it here because it's an easier oh, hole. Golf players. Is that a movie that you kind of look? Yep. Same old like that friend. Grandma, you're going to be on a music video. That's right, MTV, Grandma. What do you mean? Man, I am. Yes. Oh, how beautiful. It's like the kind of Christmas where you can hear the voices. Really? It's not gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We'll zoom in on Grandma. I love you so. Say, hi, Grandma. I love you so. I wish I could live here forever. <laughs> <laughs> Except none of us live here. <laughs> yeah, God forbid. Uh, I want you all here. <laughs>
I enjoyed every bit of today. Let's and go yesterday. Check out the kiddos. Having a good time? Hey guys, what are you doing? You guys playing golf? There we go, now we've got the light set. Oh, 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 oh. Look, you're taller than daddy. Oh, one, two. This is what everyone was doing as they were waiting for the fateful day. I sat down. Waiting. Come on back over here. September 15th, 1985. <laughs> well, it's close. It's February 15th. Jim's Demise, yes. <laughs> Jim fought it well. I'm gonna get you. Thunk. I'm gonna get you. Uh oh, uh oh. Nice shot, thank you. Ann. <coughs> That's okay, it was my favorite part. <laughs> Good old grandpa, right? Very yeah, good. Right. Some things in life never change. I tell you as it is. What did she say? It helps Jim look skinnier. <laughs> well, Jim. Well. Dave How many more hours left? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, Dave was like his hour. grandpa. I'm really just a little bit. At the Y, we make a right. Go down the Ingram, make a Y at the right at the Well, you guys are going all together, right? Are we? I don't know. Oh, we have to go to the We have to get changed to Julie's house. I need at least an hour. What time should we leave to get there? Well, you better leave right I now know, if that's you need an hour. He has to be at the church at 1 o'clock. Oh, we're going to your house after the wedding? He's at her in the morning. We'll see how it works out. We went out to your house last night. That's okay. That's so nice. Got a big guy. I saw about seven deers, five rabbits just running around everywhere. It's great. Yeah, it's nice. Out on the ranch. This night? We're all over the place. Hello. Are you guys ready to get the morning? Yeah. Yes, you are. So see you all at That's right. We wanted to let everyone know what we were doing hours before the fateful time. Can't say everything we're doing. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's a, I have church. to tell Bud how the ceremony right goes. Then. I think yeah. you need an hour to get ready. I have like a kid over there. Call him now. Time for a fast zoom. Your turn. Your turn to pass. Take a lap, girl. Your turn to pass. You gotta get down a little bit, Jim. <laughs> get down. Get down, Jim. Don't bleed. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, 
dun 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 And what do you think of the foreign policy, Mr. <laughs> Lopresti? Smile. <Yeah. laughs> but. Hi, guy. Come on, do a little do what, do what. The sun comes in, the sun goes down. down the street. Oh, come on, Jim, you're dying, Jim. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Three dudes like that before? Oh, man, they're, they're all pretty pretty. <laughs> Gotta record this. <laughs> Uh, he saw me and he came over. All right. <laughs> I hear mommy's footsteps. Here comes mom. Thank you. Over here. Cheese. Still with the hand. <laughs> We're just trying to get the lineup. <laughs> what? The picture of the hand. What was it you wanted to do? What did you want? The lineup, all the five kids. Okay, yeah. Okay. We're gonna go take a picture. Um, Let's go take a picture. Wimberly. Really? Okay. Oh, oh, my hand. Hey, let's take a picture. Oh, watch mommy, watch mommy. Where's the mommy? Is everybody in? No, <laughs> not on mine. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wait a minute. Okay, I'll take him. I'll take him. Let me just do something with this before I. Uh... Let me take him, David. Hide him behind me, bud. You want me take him? You want me take him? On three. One, two, three. I know. He Oh, got you? Yeah. You tired, bro? In other words, let me go! <laughs> He's still okay. tired. We'll just lean down, okay? How you doing, Travis? Come here, man. I know what I'm supposed to do. Wind. Wind? Yeah. Okay. But I think people are showing up, sweet. Well, but we don't see anybody until the two mothers are seated. Oh. Yep. Well, you check. You go knock and check. If she wants, it's up to her. It's up Anna. to her now. She wants. Hey, we want to get you guys for the next round. Still got a car in the background. Yeah. Uh, it's the Walsh's. Oh, okay. Hi, Uncle Dave. This is an action photo. Wait for Say hi. Look at Grandpa's flower. Squirt's water. Better smile. Okay, we caught you. <laughs> so is this where you guys are going to hang out? You notice there isn't a back door, right? Yeah, I noticed that. They do have a window. <laughs> You're real good, Jim. 
You look good. Chuck's looks good. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. 
God created man and woman in his own image and thereby making it possible for each personality to live in fellowship with God. This fellowship does not occur automatically, but occurs only when each person makes a commitment of himself or herself personally to God through a personal experience of faith in Jesus Christ. <coughs> the people of Sunset Baptist Church and the people of the various churches of this area believe the biblical admonition related to a personal experience of forgiveness and faith in Jesus Christ. The master plan of God, our Creator, reached its highest level of special revelation to us in the birth and life, death and resurrection of Jesus, the Son of God. Jesus, our Lord, early in his public life, honored marriage and its celebration by attending the marriage and festivities in Canaan of Galilee. Civilized societies from the beginning have taken seriously, have ceremonial, ceremonialized the time when two people, a man and a woman, are ready to announce that from this day forth they are committed to each other and shall be joined in a relationship of love, integrity, and of mutual devotion to one another. We read in the book of Ruth, after Naomi's husband Elimelech died, Ruth's husband also died. <coughs> after this, Ruth's kindness and devotion to her mother-in-law Naomi is an inspiring example of commitment that this young couple thought about as they approached their marriage. Ruth said to Naomi, Entreat me not to leave you or to return from following after you. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Wherever you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death alone part you and me. You, Jim, <coughs> and you, Beverly, have come to me asking that you be joined in marriage. And after having talked about the capability of each of you to make a commitment similar to that commitment Ruth made to Naomi, my response to you was in the affirmative. I now ask you to join your right hand. Jim, in taking Beverly to be your lawful and wedded wife, do you promise to love and cherish her, to honor and sustain her in sickness and in health, in poverty as in wealth, in the bad that may darken your days, in the good that may light your ways, and to be true to her in all things until death alone shall part you? Do you so promise? Beverly, in taking Jim to be your lawful and wedded husband, do you promise to love and cherish him, to honor and sustain him in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in the bad that may darken your days, in the light, good that may light your ways, and to be true to him in all things until, until death alone shall part you. Do you so promise? Then you are devoted to each other until death parts you. From time immemorial, the ring has been used to seal important covenants, contracts, and vows. When the race were young and parliaments were unknown, the great seal of state was fixed upon a ring worn by the reigning monarch, and its sole sign, its stamp, was the sole sign of authority. Friends often exchanged the simple band of gold as enduring evidence of goodwill, while many a hero and heroine of immortal song and thrilling tale gave great significance to the ring as a signal of loyalty and devotion. From such impressive precedents, the golden <coughs> circuit, the most prized of jewels, has come to its loftiest prestige in the symbolic significance it represents in the marriage relationship. Here, untarnishable material and unique forms <coughs> become the precious token of the pure and abiding qualities of the ideal uh, marital state. Take this ring and place it on the third finger of the bride's left hand and hold it. <coughs> Do you 
Jim, give this ring to Beverly as a token of your love for her. Will you, Beverly, take this ring as a token of Jim's love for you, and will you wear it as a token of your love for him? Beverly, take the ring and place it on the third finger of the groom's left hand and hold it. Do you, Beverly, give this ring to Jim as a token of your love for him? Will you, Jim, take this ring as a token of your love of Beverly's love for you, and will you wear it as a token of your love for her? Would you please rejoin your right hand? Having pledged your faith in and love to each other, and having sealed your solemn marital vows by giving <coughs> and receiving of rings, acting in the authority vested in me by this church, by the laws of the state of Texas, and looking to the God of heaven for divine sanction, I pronounce you husband and wife in the presence of God and these assembled witnesses. Therefore, let all men take care in the sight of God that this holy covenant, these vows, shall ever remain sacred. Shall we pray? Holy and righteous and merciful Heavenly Father, may these two who are precious in your sight and precious in the hearts of those who love them. Grow in love for one another as they see their vows becoming more significant in the days that are ahead, as they see their vows becoming more of an expression of their own integrity, their own commitment. May they find in this commitment that their desire for their home to be Christian will be expressed in their finding a church of their choice and devoting themselves to the Lord through the work of that church, may they find in the, all of their relationships that the will of God is always best and the uttermost parts of our lives and our being that we can understand and seek to know and follow the will of God. We pray that they shall do just that and find joy and peace in their lives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I present to you Beverly Ann Smith, James Ralph Lopresti, Jim and Beverly, Mr. and Mrs. Jim Lopresti. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.